Welcome to the next in our series on the voluntary targets for road safety. In this webinar, we will look at the target 10, uh, which is by 2030, all countries have national laws to restrict or prohibit the use of mobile phones while driving. Dr. Alberto Jose Silveira and Maria Cristina Isoba of Alliance member Lucemos Colavida describe why countries must urgently address the problems of drivers using mobile phones and how NGOs can advocate for change. My name is Alberto Silveira. I'm president of Luchemos por la Vida, which means Let's Fight for Life, which is a non-profit organization created in 1990 in Buenos Aires, Argentina, whose primary purpose is to help to prevent deaths in traffic. These accidents are the cause of 20 deaths each day, nearly 7,200 a year. The main purpose is to help modify the habits of those who walk or drive on our streets every day, to reduce the number of deaths and injure people significantly. We understand that there are three main courses of action that need to be taken. One, to create awareness about the risk of traffic crashes among the public. Two, to educate people so that they learn to practice sound life preserving habits, simple safety rules to reduce risks. And three, to encourage the passing of appropriate laws and their enforcement. Main areas of work, mass media, Ongoing campaigns for public awareness and education on TV, radio, newspapers, etc., for more than 25 years now. Institutions, all school levels, preschool, elementary, high, intermediate organizations, etc. Government, bills of laws and regulations to be presented to the executive and legislative powers. research, analysis of local and foreign situations, surveys, statistics, projects, etc. My name is Maria Cristina Isova. I'm in charge of the areas of education and, and research in our association, Luchemos por la Vida, who decided to include the problem of mobile phones, a growing danger in, at the hands of drivers and pedestrians. Why? One of the essential pillars of road safety is to achieve safer road users. It requires dealing with the important issue of distractions while driving. Driver distraction is responsible for up 80% of motor vehicle collisions and cell phone use is becoming a prevalent mode of distraction. In Argentina, our country, and all over the world, this behavior keeps increasing. It has been proven that driving under these conditions multiplies by nine the possibilities of death in traffic. It has also been demonstrated that the impairment it generates on the driver is comparable to driver driving under the influence of alcohol. Data provided by different reports show that after talking on the phone, even with hands-free device, for a minute and a half, the driver doesn't perceive 40% of the traffic signals, their average speed decreases 12%, their cardiac rhythm increases abruptly during the call, and it takes them more time to react. To deepen the knowledge about the seriousness of the problem, the association has developed for 10 years a follow-up the behavior of the drivers and the use of the cell phone. For years, science has been studying the important limitations of our brain to carry out two tasks that require attention at the same time and researchers have proved how dangerous it is to drive while talking or messaging on the mobile phone, even with the hands-free system. Cell phone conversations have negative effects on reaction time, lane keeping, car following ability, and speech control while driving. 
even more alarming than cell phone conversations is text messaging while driving. Results of a larger scale naturalistic driving study found 23.2 times increase in crash or near crash risk when reading and sending text messages compared with driving without distractions. Simulated experiments show that drivers who text message while driving display poor car following ability and lateral lane control, and they spend 400% more time with their eyes off the road when compared with baseline. Cell phones might contribute to more collisions than other in car tasks, such as eating and reaching for objects, for example. In a one-year naturalistic study of 241 drivers, dialing and having cell phone conversations contributed to more crashes and near crashes than any other task. Recent international studies have concluded that walking while talking on the mobile phone is a very risky action also. Since observed people display behaviors such as crossing more slowly, without looking at surrounding traffic and not waiting for vehicles to stop in order to start crossing in a much larger proportion than those not using mobile phones. For pedestrians, the main real issue seems to be distraction, as it happens to drivers. And in the chaotic traffic of our country, this new habit shared by pedestrians and drivers does nothing but worsen the safety of all the users of the thoroughfare. For that, since 2004, measurements have been made for Luchemos por la Vida to follow up the behavior of drivers in relation to the use of cell phones by means of systematic observations and more recently of pedestrians, the latter while crossing the streets. Distraction via the wheel and while walking adds more danger to daily traffic. For example, the use of cell phone while driving. Next, please. Private cars in the city of Buenos Aires is increasing each year. In September 2007, only 4.1% of people, of drivers, were using the mobile phone while driving. In September 2017, 30.3% were using the mobile phone while driving. And these figures are alarming. Since I mean that among private cars that circulate in Buenos Aires daily, around 1,400,000 drivers, there are approximately 186,000 people using a mobile phone while driving simultaneously and constantly despite the ex express prohibition of the city traffic law and the national traffic law. Recent studies have concluded that walking while choking on the mobile phone is very risky. For example, in 2007, 4% of pedestrians were crossing the streets using mobile phone. In September 2017, 15.1% were using that. What to do with this? The next, please. With the goal of achieving positive changes in this issue, Luchemos por la Vida is carrying on different activities to promote the change in the behavior of road users, both drivers and pedestrians. Maseguerre's national campaign with the spot cell phone while driving kills. Traffic safety education for young students through the program Conduciendo por la Vida, that means driving for life. An educational video, mobile phones, the that's call, available for free in our website and YouTube. Training courses for drivers petitions to the authorities for appropriate enforcement and improving legislation.
Luchemos por la vida has launched an awareness campaign on radio and TV to create awareness on the serious and rising problem of the use of cell phone while driving. The main TV channels and radios of Argentina and neighboring countries are broadcasting voluntarily this campaign from January 2017 up to now. Here we can see the spot. Recibiste el mensaje, el celular al volante mata. Luchemos por la vida. The campaign Cell Phone While Driving Kills has the objective of saving lives from the rising road use and safety that is caused by the distracted and sometimes blind driving of those who use their cell phone at the wheel. To get an idea of the importance and presence of the campaign on TV screens, we want to point out that only during March 2018, there were more than 500 airings of the spot in the five most important TV channels. Luchemos por la Vida is developing a traffic safety education program for high school students named Driving for Life, Conduciendo por la Vida, sponsored by Ford Motor Argentina, developed since 2016 up to now. Its goal is raising awareness and providing road safety education to youth aged 15 to 18 throughout workshops, including the specific topic distractions at the wheel, the use of cell phones with video materials and practical experiences about the effects of testing over reactions. More than 10,000 students have participated in these workshops up to now. The website www.conduciendoporlavida.com offers a free online course in Spanish to all over the country and the Spanish-speaking region on safe mobility on the traffic system and responsible driving. That includes the specific chapter about this issue. A guidance and information for educators and parents are provided to allow them to participate actively on this educational process. Since the launching of the program Conduciendo por la Vida in Argentina in May 2016, 118,000 visits to the website have been received, as well as 97,000 views of the online course videos and 39,500 views of the videos on YouTube. We also issue and send more than 2,000 certificates of course complexion. Training courses for drivers. All the training courses about safe driving provided to drivers include the theme of distractions. 1,200 adults of private companies and municipalities have participated of these activities. Petitions to the authorities for appropriate enforcement and improving legislation. Visa of laws and regulations are presented in, to the executive and legislative powers. Nowadays, the National Agency for Traffic Safety is studying some changes of the national law related to prohibit the use of cell phones during stop driving and the use of hand-free devices. Traffic law in Argentina established the prohibition of using headphones and continuous manual operation systems while driving. In 2008, the prohibition of the use of VHF 
and DVD or similar screens or monitors was extended. The penalty, a fine. In the city of Buenos Aires, the writing or sending of text messages was added. Penalty, fine, plus loss of points within a system of driving licenses by points. But constant improvements in the world of communications make it necessary for its effectiveness, not only in Argentina, but all over the world, that the laws related to the subject were more comprehensive, clear, and explicit, and that can be applied to both present and future situations. It is important to achieve laws that prohibit the use of cell phones, headphones, phones, video players, and or any other type of audio visual intercommunication system or of any other type with the outside world while driving. Whether for manual use of hands-free, making explicit the writing or sending of text messages or of any other type for the driver while driving, except when stop or parking places out of circulation. The ideal penalties, according to our point of view, will be the severe fine combined with the loss of points in the driver's license. And that in case of the second offense, to add the driver educational courts and eventually the loss of driver's license. As important as the existence of specific words of the law will be an efficient enforcement, which will depend not only on the political support, but also to find the most effective way to record traffic offenses, a difficult problem even in the most proactive countries in this issue. About the results of interventions and support, we work intensely with mass media, TV, radio, radio newspapers, social media, who have been receptive and provide spaces to talk about this problem and raise awareness with many interviews. You know, for starting a relationship with mass media, Luchemos por la Vida sent press releases and tried to get in touch personally, personally to the staff of the main newspaper, TV programs, radios, to interest them in the topics of traffic safety. Many of them became very interested to spread these issues and these relationships had been kept and strengthened over the time. The massive awareness campaign has had a high degree of acceptance among the population and success in understanding the message has been checked. Through our telephone and face-to-face -face surveys, prior to the different educational activities, despite which significant results, unfortunately, have not yet been recorded in terms of the decrease the cell phone use among drivers, yet. The educational interventions result in a great interest of people about the topic and recognition of the risk behavior. Students and adults participating in the road safety education workshops became surprised and very interested about the effects of mobile distraction when attending to driving. The expectation is that the authorities will continue to increase enforcement, which has improved, for example, in the city of Buenos Aires. There, tickets for use of cell phones and the wheel uh, increased 143% in the first four months of this year, the year of this campaign. Probably being held by authorities is the main challenge for an NGO. For this, according to our experience, it's very important the pressure of mass media for being received and heard by authorities dealing with traffic safety. Even though 
it's not possible for us to obtain financial support from the government. Our activities are sustainable thanks to the mass media collaboration air in the spot for free, for example, and the small support of the private sector for the development of some educational activities. And that it's essential to involve other stakeholders and multi-sector partnerships in the task as described above. We understand that this type of intervention can be replicated in each community. Taking into account that achieving a decrease in cell phone use while driving is a huge challenge we consider that raising awareness and understanding about its effects on attention and reactions, it is the first step. Appropriate laws and an intense enforcement should that dispectic change. The main purpose of this presentation is not to boast about our achievements, but to show that even with very little or no money and with free and voluntary work, with clear goals and lots of effort, even with the lack of support from authorities, it is possible to do many things to improve traffic safety. We only want to encourage all of you to take actions, to do your best as a way that perhaps could save one life or why not many in traffic. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alberto and Maria Cristina, for sharing your expertise on this subject. This webinar is available on our website and on YouTube, uh, and you can go back and listen to it as many times as you like. If you wish to learn more, we have collected a number of resources which you can, which you can find on our website. Thank you for listening and have a safe day.